So over the course of my video game Easter egg series, which if you didn't know is a series where I share Easter eggs in video games, the only rule being they cannot have featured on my channel before, I've just about covered most of the Easter eggs in Modern Warfare. But then it dawned on me, I have never actually made a video just about Modern Warfare and its pretty interesting list of Easter eggs. So here we are. Join me today as we take a look at 20 Easter egg secrets or references in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Oh, and if you think I may have missed an Easter egg, then be sure to let me know in the comments section or on my social media accounts. The links to which are in the description. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So to start things off, let's take a look at some of the Easter eggs that can be found in Modern Warfare's multiplayer. A mode that I haven't really spent a lot of time in is Ground War. Campers infuriate me, so a mode where five or six people can camp on top of a building with claymores and sniper rifles doesn't really appeal to me. I mean, that may not be what it's actually like playing Ground War, but from browsing the Modern Warfare subreddit, it's the impression I get. Anyway, there is a reason I mention Ground War, as on the Port of Verdansk map, you can find this. So this secluded spot in between the crates has two chairs set up and what appears to be a burnt out campfire. Do you get it? It's a place for campers. Next up is the easter egg that every game developer stuck for easter egg ideas adds to their game. The Pennywise balloon has featured in loads of games at this point and Modern Warfare decided to jump on the bandwagon too. On the docks gunfight map you can find this. So a red balloon along with a yellow coat and a skeleton. This is a pretty obvious reference to the character Georgie from the 2017 film It where Georgie went to play outside in the rain with his yellow raincoat and paper boat. As you could probably guess, things didn't end too well for Georgie. Up next are probably the two strangest easter eggs in Modern Warfare. On the map hill, if you enter spectator mode, you can spot this. So a goat wearing a beanie hat stood on top of a dead cow. Now this is why I love easter eggs, in all my years covering them they still find a way to surprise me. The next easter egg on hill doesn't get any less strange. If you take a sniper rifle with you and look up into the trees, you'll see this. So there appears to be some sort of figure sitting in the tree. After you've seen the blue shimmer effect, it disappears. The only way to see it again is to reload the map. The popular theory here is that this is the predator, who as well as having the ability to cloak itself, is known to stalk its prey from the trees. A hint at a future DLC pack perhaps? So over Christmas, Infinity War treated us to a winter themed version of Docs. Along with a liberal dusting of the white stuff, it also allowed players to have a snowball fight. Well, where there's snow, there must be snowmen. At four different locations on the map, snowmen can be found. If you shoot them very quickly, and I think it needs to be done in around two seconds or less, so best get a friend to help, then all of the characters on the map will have carrots for noses. At the time of recording this video, the 18th of January, the winter docks were still available. But I don't know if Infinity Ward plan on removing it, so if you want to try this for yourself, then you might want to get a move on. The next Christmas themed easter egg on the docks map is a doozy. Eagle eyed players will have noticed a clock on one side of the map. Well if you head indoors you can find a note which reads Santa we're having problems with the sleigh. We'll need to add a little boost. What time are you planning on leaving? VFX team. If you then look to the right you'll see a set of keys marked sleigh hanging underneath the number 12. Head outside and aim at the weather vane. Shoot it once the clock strikes 12 for this to happen. So it's Santa's sleigh being pulled by Riley from Call of Duty Ghosts and seemingly steered by Captain Price. As I said before, easter eggs continue to surprise me. The next multiplayer Modern Warfare easter egg is actually pretty heartwarming. On the St. Petrograd map you can find this sign. Unfortunately the text is in Russian so normally I wouldn't have any idea what it said, but with the power of the internet we're able to translate it, and it says this. 
The spot I'm typing this in is really tiny. That's why I can fill it with a bunch of words which make it look real, but really it's all bullshit. You won't know what I wrote because the text is so small, it's ineligible. And that's probably for the best because I can't speak or write Russian and it's probably all incorrect. In any case, I value you. The person I have never met who took the time to carefully study this sign. Although we'll never meet, I'm happy to know you saw my work. I don't know why, but amongst the Pennywise balloons, the Santa sleighs, and the other cool easter eggs in this game, this one is probably my favourite easter egg. The final multiplayer easter egg is one of the more elaborate easter eggs in Modern Warfare. On the map cargo, you can find several stuffed toys. If you shoot 10 of these stuffed toys, I will leave a link in the description for a full guide. If I don't, then shout at me in the comments. This will happen. So aside from the obvious appearance of beach balls, there doesn't seem to be anything else to this easter egg. Still, I'd love to see this pulled off in a proper multiplayer match. So that does it for the easter eggs in Call of Duty Modern Warfare's multiplayer maps. Let's dive into the campaign. The Modern Warfare campaign is probably my favourite Call of Duty campaign since Black Ops 1. It strips back the exosuits and missions set in space and gives us a good old fashioned Call of Duty campaign. So Modern Warfare is set before Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare and even then it's a reimagining of the entire story so what we may know about certain characters and their fates in previous Modern Warfare games doesn't necessarily mean anything this time around. That doesn't stop Modern Warfare 2019 calling back to COD 4 on more than one occasion. Here are a few examples I found while playing the campaign. Check those corners. Way too right mate. On my mark. Go. Check those corners. Move. Check those corners. That's we back, Mom, Dad. I heard that. Nice. Your fruit killing skills are remarkable. I've got it, I'll cover. You've done in, Sergeant. On your feet, we are leaving! Sergeant Bravo 6, we're on our way out! On your feet, soldier! We are leaving! I mean, these could all be coincidences, but the fact they were said line for line in a previous iteration of the same series makes me think they were definitely meant to be references. This next easter egg sees a return of a Call of Duty favourite. Teddy bears have featured in almost all of the Call of Duty games and to this day the reasoning behind them is still hotly debated. Many believe it's a tribute to a developer's daughter who sadly passed away and others think it's the calling card of one of the art team. Whilst we may be no closer to knowing the reason behind their appearances in Call of Duty games, it's always cool to find them. This particular bear can be found chilling out during the Wolf's Den mission. Up next is a reference to a very old game. You may recall that in Black Ops 2 you could play retro Activision games on the Nuketown sign. Well you can't actually play this particular game, but they don't come any more retro. So if you destroy all of the servers, a game of Pong will begin playing on the server nearest to the door. This next reference is another reference that a lot of developers add to their games. The 451 code has appeared in some truly great games over the years, including Prey and Deus Ex Mankind Divided. But I must admit that I was a little surprised to find it here. 451. <laughs> So for those that aren't aware, the 451 code is a reference to the Ray Bradbury book, Fahrenheit 451. The final easter egg on the estate map is a bit of self-promotion from Modern Warfare's narrative director. As you progress through the main house towards the end of the mission, you can spot this painting. This is Taylor Kurosaki, who, as mentioned, is Infinity Ward's narrative director. The final easter egg in this video is an odd one. During any mission where civilians are present, if you repeatedly take them out, this will happen. Take your shots. Hands up! Now! Two sticks use the grenade. What the fuck are you doing? Take your shot. Hands up! Now! Two sticks use the So along with the are you serious message, you are then booted back to the campaign menu. 
So that's it, that's 20 easter egg secrets or references found in Modern Warfare 2019. As I said, some of these did feature in my video game easter egg series, but I felt like I should probably have made this video 3 months ago when the game launched. If you enjoyed this video then a like is massively appreciated, it really does help a lot. If you're a fan of easter eggs in video games then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.